Dear friends in Christ Jesus, we are in the 32nd Sunday in Ordinary Time. From today's Gospel, Jesus is asking a question, Is there oil in your lamp? In today's Gospel, we see Jesus speaks about the parable of the ten virgins. From this parable, Jesus is calling us to reflect about three important values for our life. The first one is preparedness. Preparedness means preparation. which means we need to analyze what is needed what is not needed for our life and we need to prepare ourselves for example if you are going for cooking we need to understand for whom you are cooking what you are going to cook what are the ingredients you need so when you prepare everything in well advance and you can make a delicious and a tasty food if you are not prepared then you cannot make a delicious food In the same way we see in today's parable the five wise virgins they were prepared they carried the lamb and also they carried the oil with them but the five foolish one they carried only the lamb they were not prepared so they never entered into the banquet of the bridegroom but in the Jesus telling us you need to prepare yourselves will in advance so that you can enter into the kingdom of heaven The second one is watchfulness. Watchfulness means whatever is happening around us we need to look and we need to choose what is good and we need to grasp in our lives. If you are not watchful uh, we feel that whatever we do it is right and we will not consult with others. We will not listen to others. If you are watchful and you see the good deeds and you go and ask the person how you are going to doing the good deeds and you learn from that person and you listen from that person that is what happening in today's parable the 10 of them went together if at all the five foolish one asked the five virgins why they are carrying the extra oil they would have told them about the situation so they would have also entered into the banquet of the bridegroom because they were not watchful and they never entered into the banquet of the bridegroom the same way in our lives also we are not watchful at times for example there are many people they do are doing good deeds but sometimes we see but we are not doing sometimes we see we close our eyes and we move around we are not able to watch what is happening around what is good deeds in the society we are not grasping so this is telling that be watchful so that you can enter into the kingdom of heaven third is foresight foresight means foresee you should not look about the present situation but we need to look ahead of the future example if we see if you are going to build a house in a new place we should not look for the present situation but we should look about the future situation because what are the changes will come what are things will happen around and if you foresee everything and you build the house the house will stay longer otherwise you should demolish the house in the future so we need to foresee the things so that is what happening in today's parable the five wise virgin they foresaw what is happening but this five foolish one they did not foresee what is happening in the future because they did not know uh, what time the bridegroom will come when he will come and how he is going to come so they were not foreseeing finally they never entered into the banquet of the bridegroom is yes, my dear friends here the problem is not in sleeping the problem is is not preparedness not watchfulness not having the foresight that's why the five foolish one did not enter into the banquet of the bridegroom so jesus is asking the question is there oil in your lamp the lamp is symbolizing our life and the oil is symbolizing our good works and jesus is telling us fill your life with good works so that your life will be shining these good works are not a marketable products they cannot be borrowed or purchased but they have to be possessed by living those values which jesus taught us in his life sometimes we are not able to follow those values we are not able to cultivate that good 
works in our lives because we want to postpone the things we want to while away the time because of the laziness we are not able to possess those values and we feel that there will time will come i will do good works in that time finally the time will not be there and also the good works will not be there and we will not enter into the kingdom of god so jesus telling us fill your life with the good works a christian without good works lamp without the oil and he cannot shine so if you want to shine your life fill your life with the good works that is what jesus is telling us to follow from this parable so let us pray for this grace so that we may fill our lives with the good works amen